Hello and welcome people, this is Dark Forest Shadows here and today I'm just stopping by before I go to work just to run through a quick elderflower and honey tea. Um, nothing too special. Pick some fresh elderflower. I've got these soaking in pour and store. A bit of fresh water. Right. And this is just swilling off any crap. I'm not too fussed, you know what I'm like. Just gonna seal it. Not into the fancy strainer and all that. Um, some would say wasting some good nutrients. But what I've been researching into with the alder flower is just uh, a bit of fresh water just to open it up. And then I've got my mess tin on the go simmering and I'm just going to put that in you can see it's just simmering away under two hexi tabs uh, we're in a little mini heat wave in the UK so I just popped out on the way to work like I said just a lovely viewpoint um, overlooking an estuary yeah, this is simmering. Got my cup. Dashing me old honey. Going in there, I don't know if you can see this. It's a good old squid. Personal preference again. Got my keychain. Same procedure if I'm doing a brew. This time I'm not using any fancy knives and forks and all that crap. Just my sharpening rod off and my keychain. Let that simmer for a minute. Um, there's many uses for the alder flower, and as you delve more and more into it, it becomes apparent that the actual tree itself harbours some nasty poisonous chemicals. I'm not going to go into that, um, so you have to be sort of careful as long as you're eating the flower or the berry, it's fine. Um, do your research. I don't recommend you trying this until you know what you're doing. I'm not preaching on or nothing. Um, but this is pretty much ready. It only needs to infuse. Now what I'm going to do later, I picked a good bunch. And because it's real hot, I'm going to leave them in the car on the dashboard to start the drying process in some tin foil and hopefully see how that works out for a longer term um, wild tea even minus the honey um, so yeah, what I can do, I know there's some scabby ones in there, I'm not too fussed it's a good little trick I don't know if you're getting this can pour that straight in the pour and store, lovely green liquid Bit of a mess on the mess tin, but I'm not fussed. Stick that back in the pour and store, which can hold boiling liquids and also will fit in my mess tin. I don't know if you're getting that, so I can actually cook with water in there and use the water for a brew afterwards, similar to the military. Um, excellent bags. There's a nice green tinge going on there. Um, looking more like a tea, nice and warm, squidge it around a bit, and this is my little trick with the pour and store, I zip lock it, and I just only have to, let's put the lid on there, let's move the cup out, just open the pour and store slightly, and then the water will seep out, minus too much crap. I don't know if you're getting that. Um, a few little flowers in there, all goes to the flavouring and taste. You can eat these raw. I don't know if you want to see me yomping another lot on camera. Um, but again, there's the flower. No bugs on it. 
extra protein. Um, and this is the finished cup. Again, not into hygiene as such. Build up your immunities. Quick stir with a sharpening rod. Let's have a gulp. Very nice. Um, not a bad job, I would say. A nice swig. Um, and because of because of the um, flavour of the outer flower, unless you try it, it's a bit hard to describe. It's mild, um, but I think. The drying out process, if I can dry the flowers and store them, I think that will make a nice refreshing, refreshing drink um, through the winter months. And this is something that I'm going to get into the more and more I do stuff, um, is preserving and things like that from nature. Again, it's just a nice little experiment. Quite a nice summery drink. Sat on the hill. Let's pick it up. You know my camera's cracked. Um, like I said, a little mini heat wave. Nice area. The farmers are out doing their business in the fields. Lovely valleys. I'm very lucky to live in the area I do. Um, but yeah. Thanks for taking the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for babbling on, you know what I'm like. And I'll catch you later.